Looks like they built the city deep and high. Are all those walls around the city supposed to protect it from their Tiba attacks? The walls don't seem to be as reinforced as well as they should be. This place. I wonder how the colony would react if they knew about this. <laughs> Most likely, there will be a protocol to rescue everyone. It'll be a big project. But the only way it'll be possible to contact the colony will be to finish the mission. I hope that day comes soon. Adam. Why are the streets so empty? Is everyone hiding because of us? We have a situation here. A situation? You'll see when you get to the presence chamber. Come on, we're almost there. Hey, Rael. It's been a while. Looks like you brought guests. Very important guests. Can you open the door? Go. Oracle is waiting for you. See you soon, Rael. Where the memories are kept, right? You've got a keen eye. That's right. The presence chamber is where memories are stored. The memories of those who couldn't make it back to Mother Sphere. Over here. I see we have guests. Welcome. Let me start the introductions. This is Zion's prophet, Oracle. I'm Airborne Squad Member Eve. My name's Lily. Pleased to meet you. Adam has told me all about you. You defeated an Alpha Nitiba. Could you show me anything it might have dropped? Here. Oh, it's an Alpha Core. Please, a moment. Your objective is to rid the world of the Elder Natiba, the leader of all other Natibas. Well then, I suppose you're trying to use the Alpha Core as a key to open the way forward to the Nest. Is that right? How did you know that? Unfortunately, the Nest cannot be opened with the Alpha Core alone. What? No way! But is... is there really no other way to reach the Nest? By fusing four Alpha Cores together, you create something called a Master Core. 
Only with the Master Core will you be able to reach the very deepest corner of the nest. How... How do you know all this? Thanks to my personal link to the facility on the surface, I can search anywhere and everywhere on Earth. All I require is the right amount of energy. That would also mean you'd be able to track down the Alpha Natiba. That's enough for introductions. Adam, please insert the hypercell. Eve, here. Hey, Lily, this way. Oh, it's so dark. I really don't like the dark. This is the hyperdrive, the source of all of Zion's energy. Eve, the hypercell you brought will bring light to Zion. Here, try putting the hypercell in here. People here are in a deep sleep due to energy depletion. Carrying on this way, it can only bring darkness. Eve, please help us. Thanks to the hypercell Eve acquired, they're safe. For the time being, I'm glad I was able to do something of significance. Do we need more hypercells, if the citizens ever want to wake up? Yes. We need three more hypercells if we ever want to fully rebuild Zion. Let's go back to Oracle and you can hear the rest of the story. Ma, outsiders. Thank you for your hard work. Thanks to you, the lives of tens of thousands of people have been extended. And my personal link is also stabilizing. That's great news! Does that mean we can figure out the location of the Alpha Natiba now? All the Elder's energy is still being directed at maintaining the Cradle. Who... who are you? Oh, this here is Man, a Sentinel Commander. He also serves as Oracle's bodyguard. My skills are still limited, shall we say, so I am not yet able to reach new areas. However, with the power of more hypercells, I'm certain I can track the location of the Alpha Natiba. That's why I'll have to ask you for a little more help. Altus Lavoir, a place out in the wasteland, a ruin of the past. Can we count on you to retrieve another hypercell from there? Eve, I'm sure it'll be of help. Yes. We have no other choice. Adam, Lily, I'll be counting on you. It won't be easy. Make sure to be well prepared.
feel better now that we're outside. <laughs> Things can get pretty intense in the presence chamber. Yeah, that scary looking guy wouldn't stop staring at me. I know he doesn't look it, but he's friendlier than you'd think. I have to finish the maintenance on the tetrapod before we leave. Ave, can I ask you for a favor? I ordered a propulsion control board from a parts store called Sister's Junk. Can you go pick up the order and meet me back at the safe house? Feel free to look around the city while you do. Okay. I'm going to borrow Adam's workshop for a bit. I want to tinker with the drone. All right. Let's all finish what we have to do and meet back at the tetrapod. Here. Are you the owner of the shop? Th that's right. At least for now. Adam sent me to pick up the new propulsion control board he ordered. I'm here. Is it ready? Hmm. Uh huh. It's ready. I even have a spare one too. <laughs> Good to know. Let's see. How much is that going to cost? You've come to help us. O of course, I'll do what I can to help you as well. Really? Then I'll accept it. Thank you. In return, is there something else I can maybe help you with? Huh. Oh, no, no. <laughs> it's just that you look like you had something weighing on your mind. Did I? I guess I can't hide anything from you, Angel. Do you want to give me the full story? All right. One day, I was out working in the scrap plains of the Wasteland. When I ran into some Natibas, I had to ditch my bike and my trunk during the escape. The bike got caught between hunks of metal. I had to leave it behind, or I wouldn't have made it out alive. A bike? Can you give me the exact location? I do have to go out to the wasteland. I'll go ahead and find out. Oh! oh thank you very much! Welcome, sis- Didn't we- No, no! Drone? Stretch your arm out in front of you. <laughs> the drone is different. 
Yes, this is no longer the drone you knew. It's an all-new, upgraded Drone 2.0 that can launch long-range projectiles. No, this is more than just an upgrade. It's an evolution! <laughs> now try hitting the target. Let's try again. <laughs> I crave! Let's try again. Right on target again! Now, focus! Perfect! That's amazing, Lily. Colony Tech at your service. What do you think? <laughs> Damn, kid. Tinkering with my drone? It'll be very useful for the mission. Thanks, Lily. Great. Let me know if you ever run out of ammunition. I brought back what you asked for. Here. Great work, Eve. That was your walk around the city. It looked a little sad. So much empty space. Anyway, let's go to the wasteland, Adam. Well... There are still some issues with the Tetrapod steering system. So I'm afraid we're not able to leave just yet. Then when will you be ready? Unfortunately, it's going to take longer than a day. Then I'll go ahead on foot. You can use the drone to guide me. What? The wasteland is a lot bigger than you think. I can't just sit here and wait. In fact, I want to see the wasteland with my own eyes. <laughs> You're one of a kind, Eve. All right, I'll guide you with the drone. Eve, please be careful. Yes, thank you. The wasteland is that way. There's something I didn't tell you. It's about time the drone got an upgrade. Come over here. The lone and level sands stretch far away. This is the largest land I've ever seen in my life. And yet danger lurks around every corner. Watch your step. If you trip, you might find yourself caught in the arms of death. All right. I've entered the scant coordinates of Altus Lavoir. Let's go.
Wow, great moves. Almost as good as mine. It must be the drone, not you. Following the path, and you'll see Altus Labor. See the entrance to Altus Lavoir. Are we going to need a security code? No, but get it. Hot, outsider. <sighs> Who are you? I'm Royal Guard Quiel. I'm under direct orders from Oracle to protect the ruins. Do you know this is a restricted area? So, I can't let anyone in who isn't qualified. Qualified? If you manage to defeat me, I'll let you pass. Well, if that's the case... Very good. I underestimated your ability to fight on equal footing with the Alpha Natiba. It was an honor to spar with you. We can enter now, right? Yes. Altes Lavoir has been contaminated by Natibas for a long time. No one has ever made it back alive. However, with you, I have hope.
blade stopped working all of a sudden. Huh. The drone scan isn't working either. Hold on. This is bad. There's an unusual electromagnetic security field disrupting the system. There should be natibas around here. Ah, equipping the drone is still possible. Same goes for shooting at range. <laughs> I guess we should thank Lily for that. That's more than enough. Entering now. The ruins looked old, but inside it looks so modern. Something about this feels off to me. The time period doesn't seem to line up at all. I feel the same. Step back. There's a rope in front of you. Well, that's one way to greet people. Filled with capsules. Was it a research facility?
Great. Let's move to the next area. Protecting a fusion cell in that generator. Let's get it out of there. The door on the other side's open. Laser is on. Let's go down. are alive. Success. They might have done, Lily. After all, knowing your enemy is often the first step towards defeating them. But this place seems more like a manufacturing facility to me. Lights are red. I have a bad feeling. Oh, damn, we're stuck. They pass through the lasers without a single scratch.
done. The elevator should work now. Contamination here as well. There should be a weakness. Security code. It will definitely come in handy. Try entering the code. It worked. Supply cap is here as well. Uh, let's take a breath anyway. The Natibas here. They look almost human. These Natibas are definitely different from the ones on the surface. A lot of them aren't even on our list of Natibas. Elder, you're keeping something from us.
hypercell's preservation status is good. Great. Be careful with it now. You should head back. I'll have the pod waiting for you once you go outside. Huh? Wait. There's... There's a legacy here. A legacy? What's that? It's a device with records left by the airborne squad before me. They leave important information for the next airborne squad. I see. But why would an airborne squad come all the way here? Maybe they knew something about the Alpha or the Elder. I'll check the legacy. Day eight after the second dive. Third record. Legacy account Raven. Remaining survivors Ripley and Anis. Anis is in a bad condition. Death is very likely at this rate. We discovered this laboratory, 4.47 kilometers from the drop-off point. It seems to be a facility that studied Natibas, but it's hard to obtain accurate information due to severe contamination. However, I discovered an astonishing fact while searching through the data. Before the war we call the Final War, there was another war. It was a war fought between humanity and the androids humanity had themselves created, the so-called Andro-Ados. Humans lost the war against their own creation. The few humans who did survive hid in underground facilities, but the hunt was far from over. However, an unexpected factor turned the tide of the war. With mankind at the verge of extinction, Natiba's powerful creatures from an unknown origin appeared out of nowhere. The war with the Natibas brought about the destruction of the androids. And so, during this time, mankind was able to make its escape to the colony. From now on, I plan to investigate the origin of Natibas. Hopefully, at the origin point, I should find the Elder Natiba. To anyone who may be watching, may Mother Sphere's blessings be with you. I didn't think a record like this existed. And there was another big war before the final war. I never learned about anything like that at the colony. What do you think, Adam? The history of mankind is riddled with conflict. It's hardly a surprise to hear about wars before the final war. Even so, it's strange that this wasn't passed down. I'll retrieve the legacy and go back. Wait a moment, Eve. I can pick you up with the tetrapod. Okay, I'll be waiting. You did great, Eve. Shall we go back to Zion? Let's get on board.